What the absolute... What? I literally can't even show that on the channel. Right, so someone today, in fact, his name's Elliot and he's in year six and he's asked me to draw a picture of Shrek. So we're going to have a go at doing that. Hopefully I'll be able to do it. I've had a look at some pictures. It looks pretty hard to draw and I think it could be, it could be quite easy to get terrible. What am I doing? Hello, do you know how to use your computer? Shrek drawings, that's the Shrek. Shrek drawing. Oops. Drawings. Images. What creepy. What the... What the absolute... What? <laughs> I, can't, I literally can't even show that on the channel. Oh my god. Look at this one. That one, I'll, literally, I have to blur these, some of these. Lit I've got to have to blur some of these out. You can't search anything on Google without it just being something horrible. You've let me down again, Google. You've ruined my video. Okay, I think we've got enough to go on. So, I'll have a go at sketching them out. I think I'll have a go at colouring, because I've been looking into blending. I'm going to do a video on using, like, um, I'm going to do a video on using alcohol pens to get better at blending. And then maybe do I've got this I've got this Pokemon colouring book, so maybe I'll do some pictures in there for another video. If you think you want to see something like that, let me know and I'll do that. And I've also got a load of other stuff to do with like alcohol based pens as well. So hopefully I'll be doing some videos on that. Let me know if you want to see some of those. Otherwise, let's get stuck into Shrek. Shall I do a Scottish accent? It could no, I better not. It's, could be massively offended. Stay around and um, see if I put in a Scottish accent for you. Okay, so I think I need to put a disclaimer in. If you are on the internet and you're searching video, searching for things innocently like I was, and something dodgy does come up, make sure you go and tell your parents or an adult as soon as you can. That way you're not going to get into any trouble. Right, with that being said, let's get on with the video. So here I'm just drawing out his face is like a potato -y sort of shape. He's got a wider draw, so near the bottom of his face. Make sure you make it nice and wide. And then I'm just looking at a picture that I'm copying and putting in like the eyebrows and the eyes and then sketching his nose. Um, one eyebrow is like raised up in this one. He's got quite a wide nose. His, his features are actually quite realistic. It's just he's green, so it makes him look a lot different. And then he's got those weird suction cup ears, and that obviously makes him look a bit more trollish. So I'm just putting some lines in for his little cheeks, and then in my picture, he's just got like a big broad smile. And then it, you can actually see his lips as well, but I don't I don't think I put those in. I'll put them in later with a thinner pen. So I'm pressing down a lot harder than, than I normally would, just so you can see it on the screen a lot better. And then these are his little ears. And they've got like little sort of like egg cup ends to them. So I thought I'd draw this out first so you can get an idea of how I would sketch out like a little practice go basically or a little thing to trace over the top of for myself when I'm doing it in pen. But if you want to go straight in with pen like in a follow to video, uh, I'd start off just finding the shape which are like I said it's like thinner at the top and then it goes really nice and wide out at the bottom where his jaw is. A bit like a balloon that's fallen on, like a water balloon when it falls on the floor it splays out at the bottom. I put the eyebrow in here just because it kind of cuts really close to the sides of his face. 
It kind of actually juts out a little bit at the bottom of the eyebrow. When I was looking at pictures, I could tell it. It is really hard to draw him because he's got really, f like his eyes are really human feature, like um, really re realistic eyes he's got, and his eyebrows. His nose is really quite realistic as well. He's a bit like a caricature. Okay, here I've gone in to do his eyes, but I've got a really thick pen, so it's a little bit tricky. So maybe if you're doing this, I would make it bigger drip drawing or use a, a thinner pen. So like the little lines underneath are a little bit trickier when you've got a really thick pen. nose so I'm just putting the little ridge bit at the top of his nose and then putting the bottom of his nose in and this is actually a really good way to do um, noses when you do them anyway so, so no matter what the size is kind of put a little ridge at the top and then drawing in the bottom bit with the nostrils And then I've drawn his neck and then it goes into this really furry t-shirt he's got on. So I'm making it really um, wobbly and jagged around these bits near his chest. And then he's got a really fluffy top on top of that. It's like a brown sheepskin top or something like that. So I'm making these like really cloud, fluffy cloudish sort of texture. It actually ties together a bit of string but doesn't quite fit on the page so I just let it run off the edge and then his ears are just really easy little suction cups or like um, egg cups maybe So when I was colouring this in, I used it as a good chance to like have a go at practising blending with alcohol markers, which I haven't done loads of, so I'm not super good at it. But I'm using these videos to help me like have a chance to learn how to do it better. Usually I do put down like a full base colour of, of one colour, but what I've seen other people do is they do it in patches and use all the pens at once. So you put down light colour and put down your next colour on top and blend it. And then put your darker colour on top of that and blend it all together. And you can see how I'm kind of moving across in little patches. Whereas if you've seen my other videos, you'll see before, I'll usually lay down a whole... I'll usually lay down the, light, the yellow all in one go and then do the green. I think that's because I'm used to doing things like um, screen printing, where you lay down each colour one at a time to do it. So yeah, this has been a really good chance to have a little practice at that. And then you might have seen I had the Pikachu book, so I'm going to have a go at practicing different blending techniques and maybe do a video on that. So put it down in the comments if you'd like to see that. So I spent most of my time on his face. Getting, trying to get that blended nicely. I think I, uh, I didn't quite have enough colours to make get the really dark bits dark green. And then I didn't spend so much time on the rest of it. But anyway, I was pretty happy with it and this is how it looks. Right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and I'll see you next time. Bye!